Yeah, and welcome back to la, 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 la Let's Play Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And in the last episode, we, um... I forgot what we did, but we did something amazing. We, um... We, we did the assassination contracts for, like, two things, and, uh... Man, dude, this place, this, this is almost eerie. Like, how there's just nothing out there. We're in Davy Jones' locker right now. Uh, you're in Davy Jones' locker, Captain. I knew that. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, go ahead and continue collecting stuff. We were talking about guitars in the last episode and how uh, Gibson has produced the uh, new 2016 traditional standard and, uh, well, just the 2016 line. And they have really, you know, I watched a couple of videos and I heard what a lot of people had to say about these guitars and they really are better than their 2015 counterparts and I tend to agree with them, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they sound great, but then again, Gibson's been doing that right since, I don't know, since they started. But, um, yeah, I, I, they sound great. They're affordable, or more affordable now. And, uh, I'm, I said I was going to pick one up. I said I'm probably going to pick up a Wine Red Traditional and, uh, HP, high performance. Um, why high performance, Sam? Well, because there's a lot of little things. A lot of little things that will make playing easier. Um, obviously the G-Force tuner, and you know, I was against it, to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I thought, you know, there's no reason to change that, you know, we're guitar players, you know what I mean? And that's what we do, we tune our own instruments, but it was, I had it explained to me, ladies and gentlemen, that that is just the way of the future. That is just the way it's gonna go, and I... I wasn't necessarily happy about it, but then again, I wasn't necessarily like I like I could I see what they were saying. I, it was Chapman and the Captain. Yeah, I, I like to watch their videos; they're cool. But um, I watched a bunch of videos on this on the new 2016 guitars. But it, the way the Captain explained it, he was like, uh, that, "That's exactly what he said." He's like, "This is just the, the way it's going to be. Eventually, everybody's going to have a GeForce tuner," and I can understand why. It's not a matter of, like, it's being forced upon us or anything like that. It's just, now we don't have to tune our instruments anymore. It's not It's not a matter of wanting to or can. It's, you don't have to. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just something easier. And, you know, I had this, this crazy idea that um, if I ever wrote a song, you, you know, and or if I ever wrote songs, Sam, you've already written songs. I know! I know I've written songs, but, you know, when I write more songs. There's, um, if you had the G-Force tuner, you could play a song in one key and then have, like, a break, like a drum solo or something, and then change the entire tuning of the guitar like that. And that's something you could do live. And that would, that would be beautiful. Like, musically, that's, I don't know if that's ever been done, but, um, God, if I keep, if I could get away from these islands, I've hit every single island I, I've come to in this, <laughs> in this game, pretty much. But, um... Yeah, I was very excited for the new line, and, uh, definitely gonna be picking up one. Or we can do this. Oh, whoa, how in the world am I gonna do that? Wait a minute. There's, uh, wait a minute here, hang on. Am I supposed to fly there? Like, what the heck? Oh! Okay! I looked like that wasn't possible to me, but okay. So, anyway, what's been going on, Sam? Well, we turned out doing eight episodes today because I got to work 12 to 6 tomorrow. God, that shift sucks, dude. Because I'm going to be doing everything. At, I, I don't know why I keep getting that every week. I've had it for like three weeks straight. And I hate it. Absolutely hate it. The, uh, I have to sweep and do bathrooms, which means I don't, I don't even get a chance to, like, I have to be, you know, I have to be going all the time because there's just, there's no time to waste it wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have to face every single freaking aisle. That's that's what really sucks up the time. Is there's 15 aisles, and uh, you know, and it's you know plus doing bathrooms, plus doing all the sweeping, plus cleaning the back room, plus taking the trash out, and then you know, all the aisles, and then uh, let's see what else I gotta do. Oh, there's always customers, <laughs> but. Um, They're just doing, like, the guy that does bathrooms usually does all that little nitpicky stuff, like taking out the trash and, you know, cleaning the bathrooms and, like, filling the drink box and, you know, do, doing all these little things that never get done. And I've got to do all that little stuff plus sweep and plus 
uh, face every aisle. And, dude, I just have no time. 12 to 6 is just about not enough time. Oh, and I don't get a break, by the way. I don't get a break. 12 to 6, no, six, no break. So. That's the way it goes, right? Oh, that's life in Hell's Motel. But anyway, I haven't said that since college, ladies and gentlemen. I used to say that all the time when I was in college. And I, I haven't said that since college. That's crazy. But that is, that's Life in Hell's Motel. That's a good song, too. MD45 released one album, like, a long time ago. And it was a great metal album. God, the sound on that album. Like, it wasn't really like, oh, earth-shattering, you know. It wasn't. But it was just good, like, cruising music and just, you know, I... I don't know, Dave's guitar on that was a little edgier than, you know, I've heard it in a long time. I mean, it wasn't really big guitar. Oh, God, there's Island right there. Um, wasn't huge, like, some kind of, like, Zach Wild, Steve I sound or anything like that. But it was, it was really gritty, you know? Really, really high-end stuff on that guitar. But um, I still loved it. And uh, the drummer was absolutely insane. I love the sound of that drum set on that album. It's called The Craving, ladies and gentlemen. MD-45, The Craving. And, uh... When I had a Facebook, that was actually one of the bands, one of my favorite bands on that on my list. And uh, nobody asked me about it. I thought somebody would ask me, like, who's MD45? And what it is, I think it's in yeah, the MD and MD45. I think it stands for Megadeth because Dave Mustaine's in Megadeth. But then they got the guy from like Biohazard, the bassist from Biohazard, I think. And then God, the drummer. I knew, I knew where the drummer was from. I used to know, but I had no idea where the other guitar player was from. It's just good stuff all around, dude. And, uh, I downloaded, like, I think when I got that whole album, I, uh, only, I took, I, I took every song except for, like, two of them. And, and I can't say that about a lot of albums. Um, like, I have to really like an album. First of all, to buy it, I have to really like an album. And then, to get every song on that album is, uh, like, I really, really have to like it. But, uh, can I get through there? I don't think I can, but I'm sure as heck gonna try. Oh god, close your eyes, mates. Oh god, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be bloody hell, it's gonna be close. No, oh, no. Just not. <laughs> I'm too big. Oh, I'm too big, and now my ship's gonna run aground, and it's gonna be like that one scene when they went to that one place, and it's like, oh no. Can we turn, please? I would love to. Oh god, just do a. I think I can make that. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can. Oh, well, I guess we'll go around, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I, look, our wanted level is just about full. I mean, you can get, like, three of them. And when you get three of them, you got to start taking out Mana Wars, which is ridiculous. And that's how I got all my stuff. Is I just kept my wanted level high. And, like, what they do, they'll send, like, three ships at a time. And what that does is, like, you can, say, take out a one of the brigs or one of the frigates that comes along. And, uh... And then you can attack the Man of War, right? But then, and what you do is, like, when you take out the Man of War, you send it to the fleet. And then there, there's your ship. There's your Man of War ship. So you don't have to, like, have to go look for them. You just have to get your one level high enough to where they will come looking for you. And then, you know. But then, like, if you get in trouble, you can always take out one of the easier to kill ones. Like a brig or a frigate. And then, uh... And then just heal your ship and then take on the man of war. Oh, and there's our first. That's what diving locations look like, ladies and gentlemen. And they suck. But we got to do all of those too, man. But they're not that bad. I think there's ten of them too. And they're not They're not so bad. All right. He's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. I downloaded this song. It's one of the songs. I bought Spanish Ladies. This song, Drunken Sailor, and uh, Lowlands. Dude, Lowlands gives me chills every time I listen to it. Like, it... Just the whole song. It's about this guy's who, this or this sailor's rather his his wife. God, can I stop doing that? Um, who's 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 getting married or has a wife or something like that, and he uh, and she dies, and it's so heavy, and it, it's it. I don't know how to. I don't know. How to, I know just saying that doesn't make a lot of sense, but um. He's talking about how... Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Um, talking about how... Uh, like, and then he knew his love was dead. And then he's talking about how he woke up... Like, he, he was dreaming about his wife. And how she died. And then when he woke up, he was on a ship. And, you know, he was he was a privateer, you know, doing whatever. And, you know, he, he awoke to the sound of the crew 
shouting Lowlands Away, and it was... And I, it's, just, it's a very heavy song, you know, and I love it to death. They don't get better than that. That song, songs that give me chills. There's only been like three songs my whole life that ever gave, gave me chills, uh, and that's one of them. And the other one is Long Live Rock and Roll by Steel Dragon. The guitar track on that is just phenomenal. I love the sound of that guitar. And whenever I hear that, um... It's just like so, like, oh, it's... Oh, it just grabs you, just reaches out and tucks you. Was that? Oh, look at that whale. Oh, I missed it. Missed it. Oh, and I downloaded this song too. Leave her, Johnny. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's the other one I downloaded. That's good stuff too. That's that's almost as heavy as Lowlands. But hey, we didn't run into the thing this time. How about that, man? But yeah. I don't know. I'm a sucker for, for love songs, you know. I love Love Song by Tesla. I love All I Want to Do is Make Love to You by Heart and Hailstorm. God, I'm just, I'm a sucker for love. I'm, <laughs> I've got it bad, dude. I don't know what to tell you. But, um, yeah, I like love songs. I like love m movies and love stories. Like, I watched uh, Man Up with Simon Pegg. Dude, <laughs> yeah, it's a little cheesy and, you know, it's just a love thing. But, dude, it's, oh, it's so good. You know what I mean? It's oh man, you go watch Man Up. It's it's a little sexual. Whenever, <laughs> whenever they uh, met the uh, Simon Pegg's ex who divorced him, left him for somebody else. The whole interaction was just hilarious. But whenever uh, the girl asked, like, she, Simon didn't let her know that she was being used to get back at his divorcee, I guess, and. Uh, <laughs> When she found out, she was a little appalled, but at that point in the movie, she had lied to him the whole time, so she owed him, right? Well, I don't want to ruin it, but anyway, whenever they meet each other, like, Simon has to go get something, like, he just goes to get a drink or something, and the girl, I, I wish I knew her name, but these ladies and gentlemen are smugglers' dens, and you complete them by, uh, the, there's like, um, secrets and chests in here. But uh, it's really easy. It's easy stuff. There's nothing. There ain't nothing to it. When we get down, we get to it, right? But anyway, she asked them what happened, and she and she said something. But then she said, "You cheated on you. You had an affair." And then she looks at it. The divorcee looks at her and she goes, "We were in love, though." But you had an affair, she said. And then she said something else to try to derail that, you know. But then and then she said it again. But you had an affair and. She looked. Uh, she looked at her and said, "Yeah, we did." And at that moment, like the whole situation turned, and she was officially on Simon's side. And whenever she got back, uh, she started to, or whenever he got back, she started being all lovey dovey and talking about like all these divulging all these secrets in relationships and how like there's apparently a porno era era in uh, relationships that I, I've never known. But uh, it was it was just it was it was, it was funny because. Uh, Oh, what's up, man? Whoop! Oh, wow, that sucks. Sorry, man. I thought I, could, I thought I could kill you faster. My bad, dog. My bad. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you get, you know... You can sneak through these, ladies and gentlemen. It is pretty cool coming in here and, you know, no one knowing what happened and you're stealing all their stuff. It is pretty cool when you do that, but, uh... Oh, sometimes you gotta... Sometimes you just gotta kill somebody, you know? But anyway, let's go ahead and find this Animus Fragment, if I can. IF I HAD ONE! But anyway, it's a great, it's a great movie. I love it. It reminds me of Love Actually and Crazy Stupid Love. It's kind of like one of those movies, but it's, it's good. It's good stuff. Dude, Love, I actually watched Love Actually again. That that scene where the rock star, Bill Nye, or however you say his name, I, I, I don't know. I, I wish I knew how to say his name. But, um, wherever he goes to his manager and he's like, I've realized that I've spent the whole of my life with a slightly chubby man and it turns out the people that I love turned out to be you and it was so sweet and he wasn't gay I don't think it was a gay moment it, he was just telling like this was a guy that he had spent his whole life with and the only one that ever had any kind of real gravity in his existence was him so I don't think it was a gay thing I think it was a it was a, I really appreciate you and you're a wonderful person type deal and I wouldn't want to be with anybody else but he, he did say he, that he was the love of his life which was like eh, it's a little gay but you know eh, whatever <laughs>
It's okay. Oh man, what's a hutia? Anyone know what a hutia is? Or hutia? Or hushia? What's up, man? Whoop! Yep, death. That's what's up for you. That's that's what's up for the rest of your life is death. So anyway, yeah, I'm a sucker for love. And if any, if any of the, if any of the 50% of the women's been watching want to go see a movie, I don't know what kind of love stories are out there right now, but I'd be happy to take you. You just let me know, and we will freaking make it happen. Okay, now what secret am I missing? Let's find something. <gasps> something out here. There's something on the wing. Something. Oh, there. No. I'm not done with you. I am. Hey, oh, dang I it. Am. I missed. I screwed up. I completely screwed up. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Whoa! Death! <laughs> oh! Oh! Blech. He's dead. Are we up to time? Oh my god, we're up to time. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it real. We're gonna do three more episodes. We just did our first smuggler's den. How do you feel? We just did our first smuggler's den. Oh man, I feel like I've never been alive before. It's like I've breathed my first breaths ever in the history of my existence. Well, <laughs> that's interesting. All right, let's pick up this thing and call it a video, ladies and gentlemen. 100% just like that. We are rocking and rolling pretty hard through this game, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we're knocking stuff out. Manifold! Dude, what's up? Because that is, uh, we're going to read all these whenever we get them all together, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that guy, he's he's the meat man at my job. He's the, the, the meat department manager. That is his title. And he's, uh, he's a cool cat. He bought Payday. And we're going to be playing that soon. I can't wait. And Derek is going to get it. But, Borderlands is free, ladies. Borderlands is free. I recommend you download it. You have one week and six days to download it. I recommend you get it. It's good stuff. And I can't wait to play it again. I've got to get used to it again, though. I probably won't do a Let's Play of it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. That game's just whoa, too big. But, um... And I don't even know anything about it. Apparently, there's like a ton of Easter eggs in that game, but I don't, e I don't even know. I don't even freaking know. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. We're going to do another episode and then two more. Thanks for watching. Keep it real. Keep it new. And peace.